do want to move into a different story we've been following out of Indiana today, though. An officer shot and killed a 30-year veteran killed in a shooting at a federal building out of Terre Haute in Indiana here. You can see the procession right now. We're going to listen in. And then we also have the latest update from Indiana police about this officer who was shot and killed as well. So again, uh, you are watching some live pictures out of Terre Haute with local law enforcement. Authorities have confirmed an officer has been shot and killed at a federal building. Information was very, very minimal today, but we are getting more information about the officer who was shot and killed. Detective Greg Ferency, a 30-year veteran of the Terre Haute Police Department, was shot and killed outside of that federal building uh, today. He was on assignment with the FBI task force on behalf of the police department. And you're seeing all local law enforcement uh, out and about tonight in this procession here in Indiana. We just saw the hearse uh, drive by not too long ago. And as we said before, we also uh, have the very latest from the police department down on the ground. We're going to play that for um, uh, for you all in, in just a moment here. But we're going to hold these pictures since we have them live.
Okay, so that's going to do it for the procession right there. We'll go out to that press conference that happened uh, just minutes ago out of Terre Haute, Indiana. Superintendent Carter. Thank you again. Thank you, everybody, Matt, uh, for, for, for doing what you've done for the last several hours out here in the, in the, in the sun. Uh, I'm not going to be able to give you a lot of information tonight, but I think what's important right now is for the community here in Terre Haute, the whole Wabash Valley, to understand this is the third Terre Haute police officer that's been killed in the line of duty in a very violent way in the last 10 years and I think four days. Rob Pitts was in May of 2018, and now here we are again today. I just don't, I don't understand. I don't know when this is going to stop. This is a federal case. The FBI will have the lead because of the location of the actual shooting that occurred. Uh, Greg Ferency was a good man, a 30-year member of the Terre Haute PD and he worked in this community for many, many, many years. It's a sad day for this community and for the Terre Haute Police Department. There's going to be a lot, there will be a lot more information that will be forthcoming in the coming days. Tomorrow, the FBI, along with the chief of the Terre Haute PD, will provide additional information about uh, the, 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 the process, about the investigation, and about the suspect. Um, but until that time, we really can't offer a whole lot more information to you other than to just simply say thank you for being here and standing with us during these very, very sad days. You know, we look around the country, and it seems like it's happening every single day, and I just don't know when it's going to stop. Don't understand it. Don't understand it. We lost a true public servant today, and I don't say that as a cliché statement. We owe Greg a debt gratitude the like will never be able to be repaid. I know you can't say a lot about specifics, but can you kind of give us a little bit of orientation about where this happened, kind of geography, and then where in the building or around the building? It was outside of a building in the city of Terre Haute. Safe to say federal building, yes. yes. Yes, Do you have any update on the suspect at this time? I have no comments about the suspect whatsoever right now, uh, but we will very soon. And has a motive at all been possible discussed or anything? Not yet. And then also for the phone officer, can you say and spell his first last name again? Greg, G-R-E-G, Ferency, F-E-R-E-N-C-Y. What happens next? Well, they, they, now everything slows down, as you know, we've been through this before. This, this all slows down now, and we have to let the process work. There are going to be a lot of questions, as there should be. Please don't speculate on what those answers might be. And uh, understand that there could be information out there that's not completely accurate. So I think after tomorrow, when you hear from the, from the uh, special agent in charge of the FBI here in Indianapolis, and from the Terrell Police Chief, um, you'll get some more fact, not what they think. You deserve to know what we know, not what we think. So you can expect that to happen tomorrow. That procession is still planned for this evening? It should be happening on yes. any moment now. Any moment now. And I, you know, it, it's not lost on me that you're here. And I, I, I'm, I'm most grateful. I'm most grateful. It's not a good time to be a police officer in America. But this is an example of someone that would die for a person that hates who they are. We're not bad people. So I say thank you for being here with us and to stand with us in the, in the blazing heat today. And uh, we certainly wish all of you the best. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.